Coming up in episode two of our Great Glenway adventure. He's a prick, he is. What have you got to say for yourself? Passive aggressive. Pretty sure she was grooming me with this long. <laughs> uh, you know, you know, you know, if you're watching it, let's head back to the crib. You, you know, you know. Wish me luck. Fuck, that was good. <laughs> that was bloody awesome, laddie. And a very good morning to you. So this is day two of our Great Glenway adventure. Uh, slept really well last night. I would think I was sparked out by about half past eight uh, until about half four this morning. I've woke up and the time is now about quarter past five, something like that. The rain has started. Not as severe as what was forecasted though, which is great. But we're just gonna have a coffee, have some breakfast, and then we're gonna make our way. We've got 15 mile today to do. We're gonna try and get to Lag and Locks. There is a, a pub or a restaurant slash pub that is a boat on the canal. So we're gonna try and aim for there today. Hopefully we try and avoid the heavy rain, but looking at the weather forecast, it's the inevitable. I think we're gonna get absolutely pissed on today. So this won't be fun for us, but it might be fun for you guys to watch. Right, we're all ready to go. We're all packed up. Everybody is ready. I have got an issue today. I've got my trousers. He's a prick, he is. <laughs> Were you doing something to the camera there? I was just waving to my, your audience. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's not a prick just yet. <laughs> <laughs> Trousers, my top, my hoodie is everything is in my rucksack today. Um, we are forecasted severe heavy rain. I'll let him do it. <laughs> um, so yeah, my only issue for today, I've just got my boxers and my waterproof trousers on, but my waterproof trousers, I feel like an American hipster with the oven brown by your ass. You know. Um, you know, you know, you know, if you're watching it, let's head back to the crib. You, you know, you know. <laughs> Sorry, Adam, if you're watching this, that was uh, probably the poorest impression you've ever seen. But as always, leave no shiz. This is a very popular trail. Let's keep these lovely little places clean and tidy for other people to use. Right. We're gonna head out into the unknown. See you up there. G spot on navigational duty. Okay, we'll never find it. You all know this is gonna end up, don't you? What have you got to say for yourself? I don't know. Just gobbledygook, isn't it? <laughs> There's a blue thing there, that's that. And we're this red thing. I think we're knackered, mate. <laughs> Little bit of a weird sign. But to be fair, his navigational skills have actually brought us into clunes. The time is half past seven in the morning. So we've been going for about an hour and a half now. So we're aiming for Lag and Locks today, which is about a 14 mile stint. Feet are feeling all right. They're just not happy. It's a shite road. If you're doing the first part of this Great Glen Way, it's very, well for me anyway, it's very unforgiving on the feet. It's all rocks and stones and then bloody road. There's nothing soft about it. But either way, it's a nice trail so far. You big wanker. <laughs> Did you hear that? That's disgusting language. Shut up. Anyway, we've just, Bit of PA, he's passive, passive aggressive. aggressive uh, Quick shout out to Reese and Geordie who was here on the 17th of October last year. Look, Gemma Goose Ellis here. Gemma Goose, <laughs> shout out to you guys. Who else we got? At a glance. Oh, sh oh yeah. Shout out Big John, Lewis the Psychopath, Howard the Calf, and Dickatron, and Dog Pound. They've spelled psychopath right, that's fair, fair play. That's good grammar and spelling. No comma though. There is full stops here, that's good yeah, spag. Yeah, that's good. And capital. Like yeah, yeah, we've done the capital H for Howard. Yeah, like it. Fair play. If I've missed you off, that's do nice apologise, but here, shout well, out to you guys who have took off. refuge in here. Indeed. Cheers, Mom. We've made it. Look at that for a view. Oh, I remember jumping out of your way. <laughs> 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 
Oh, oh, that's very oh. kind of you. Yeah. It's going to be shit this week. It is. Oh, yeah. don't tell me that. It's a lollipop. I know. Oh, I word. just give these special people. Oh, special Orange? needs people. No, I don't need <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, You're a darling. That's very kind of you. Thank you so much. There you go. You're the first Thank people you. coming through on the Monday morning. So oh, lovely. That's very kind of you. Yeah, you just wait and see today, how you get lagging. Lagging and see then and see how we, we feel. Yeah. yeah, see what time we get there. I hope it's not going to be shit for you, but it's not. I know you can't. I mean, yesterday was lovely and Saturday yeah. was really nice. Yeah. Yesterday was really nice. Seven miles yesterday, didn't we? We did all right. Yeah. Yeah. Aye, right. uh, it's I know. I it is what it is. We've done worse, I think. We don't have any control over it. No. Oh, I would love to hear that. Hey, thank you. Thank you, cheers now. Quick shout out to Leslie there, I'm pretty sure she was grooming me with this lolly. <laughs> so we're just coming up to the Trailblazer uh, toilets here. I'm gonna fill up with water, not from out the toilet though. Unless you're filtering it, then it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> He's a rebel, isn't he? <laughs> but yeah, there's a cracking little campsite if ever you uh, if ever you're doing this, I'll pin the location on the map now so you can, uh, if it's of your interest, there's probably enough for a, a good four or five tents scattered round right onto the Pebble Beach just down there for the lock. And you've got the composting toilets here as well. Let's have a look inside. Let's give the viewers a panic shitter. Have a look at it now. And then. Uh... Mate. Oh, Sprinkle the old sawdust. Beauty. Wish me luck. Moments later. Fuck, that was good. <laughs> that was bloody awesome, laddie. Feel empty, Mom. These are pissing me off. Though. Lost weight, I know you see. That's probably what it is, Dave. Uh, and me, mate. I'm just just falling off us. to learn to accept it sometimes, I think. Well, this is shit. Still hoying it down. But we've arrived at Lag and Locks at about 10 past 10 in the morning. The joys of early starts. Right, back under the peak and we'll see you at Lag and Lock. Right, well we've just stopped for some dinner now at Lag and Locks. And this lovely lady Helen has actually given us a bottle of red wine. <laughs> so a massive thank you to you, Helen. That's very kind. It's still not open, you've had it bad in This is <laughs> this is true. <laughs> so just stopped for some dinner. Macaroni right, cheese, something to eat. <sighs> Ten mile done. So forward after. So we've just come to Lag and Locks, we're just leaving now. And as you progress on the Great Glen Way, you'll see this. It is the Eagle Barge. Closed on a Monday and Tuesday, but they do hot food. And they also serve beer as well. Unfortunately for us, it's closed. Never mind. But it's time to crack on. So we're just making our way now to a Trailblazer campsite which uh, is about 1.5 kilometers before the Loch Oiki ends. That's where we're heading tonight. And now they'll put us on a 16 mile day, or just over 16 mile by the time we get there. And then a pitcher, oh, I'll probably just end up snoozing to be fair. It's been an early start. Quick shout out to Harry, who we met from uh, Montreal. He did the West Island Way last week. <laughs> and then now he's doing the Great Glen Way. So uh, good to meet you, mate. If, uh, if you're watching this, hope the trail went well for you. This is what we're walking through at the moment. It's a nice, uh, it's keeping the rain off a little bit. Battery's running along the GoPro. So I'll see you when we get to the trailblazing campsite.
So we've actually arrived at this place now, which is like a wild camping site. There is a bell tent and a dinghy or something just over there. But we are going to be camping around here somewhere tonight. And there's already a tent just over there, which you might be able to see. I've got my shit everywhere, guys. Jesus Christ, can you hear that? It's peeing down. So we're on this campsite, and then about 18 canoeists have just turned up. Never. Nice people actually, really nice. Christ, I've been here since half two and it's only half four. So I'm gonna wing it a little bit more in the crib and then um, put some tea on. You can probably hear that. <laughs> There's no views, I can't get out. I'm tent bound till the morning when we decide to move off. So I'm gonna leave it here. That's episode two, done and dusted. I am so sorry. In fact, I don't even know why I'm apologizing, but I know the video is gonna be crap. There's just been that much rain today. We haven't had a chance to film much. Um, the views have been great, as you've seen. Tomorrow, suspected heavy rain again. There's a pattern unfolding here. But anyway, I'll try and do what I can, and I'll see you in episode three.